Hi guys, um, so today we're going to stand up, right? Um, it works. Um, and you have probably not heard of this game. Look what level I am. That's why I couldn't upload in three weeks. And I was busy doing real beats, so sorry, but here I am today. And um, I did some experiments. Today's kind of like an experiment and teach you guys about the game. And then do some dungeon runs, because I know you guys want to see me grind, okay? All right, so. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to the storage room, right? Yeah. And then you want to click here. And then here is where all your stands are, like. Here's all mine. Um, weather report kind of trash. And then shout the world, it's decent in heaven. Really good. But I'm going to show you what Damon is, or what those weird little things, the attributes. Now, if you will, if you press L, you will see stand player quests and stats. Now I'll get into that later, but for now, I'll tell you how to get a stand. So the first thing to get a stand is go into chat and just type, please give arrow me new player. Now, um, you can say that, or you could go over here. Um, and X is to stand to jump. Some stands have jump abilities and stuff. Uh, and then you'll see arrows, like just randomly on that. And then, after they have like a umbrella that means they're good at the game, so don't try not to kill them unless you have a good stand like me. Now, if you press L, you'll see stand, and then you'll say non pigeon unless you have a stand. Like, so yeah, that's cool. Um, and then go into L player, and then click install auto fill. That's what I've been doing. <clears throat> and look at that. You don't have to click anything, and then you're all set. Now reset because I don't know why the game makes you do that, but the stats won't appear. <clears throat> now check my stats. See? Then that is what Damon does. Now, Shadow of the World is pretty good by itself. So, now I'm going to tell you what an arrow does. Um, so, there's two different types of arrows. Lucky enough, I have both. There is unusual. Ooh, fancy glowing. Now, here is the normal stand arrow. The thing that normal people would just give you. Now, if, you, if I left click on this, it will say stand arrow. Are you sure you want to use it? Yeah, yeah, you guys can read that. But yeah, it just says standard level one plus. Now, well, th there's level one plus, okay? Now watch this. Unusual level 30 plus. Um, now I can't demonstrate what those do. Now, this is a boss. Well, it's supposed to be a boss, but this one's a little, you know, too easy. Um, because I have Shadow the World, um, that's why. So, I'm gonna tell you, like, what this means down here, like, SS, or, that's the stand to you. Um, and you'll see, I have that much money, that's actually tons of money, if you didn't know. Uh, we can go grab more, let's go get more money. So, if you level 55, and I'll show you how to get levels later, but if you level 55, run over here to this menu, and then click him, and then hold out ketchup, and then you say yes. And then he'll take it, and then I got 2,000 cash. It's kind of sad, but whatever. <laughs> That's how you get money in this game. Um, there's other methods. I'm gonna tell you. Different ones.
ones. That's not the one that I use, actually. Um, I might grab cars later in the video. So, here we go. Where is it? Um, so, guys, I, I know I'm supposed to be experienced too. Yeah. Now you'll see Jono Giovanna. Level 1 plus quest. Now click. Hey, you want to cash? Kill three of those bad guys just as in Elden Task, I suppose. And then just click OK. Now watch this. See? And then I would even just punch them. So, one, two, three. Now they're all dead. Um, Then go talk to Juno. And then look, see, 300 cash, 70 XP. Now that's what you'll be doing until you get to level 30, I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you, sure you do, all right. Wait, no, right? I don't know, just do it until you're level 30. Um, Kill, uh, kill over here. See, it, it's super easy. Do that if you want. And then, <laughs> you can go, well, you can do that until you are. Let me go check. I know what quest it is, but I know what's this possibly. Until you are level not 50 it's not not that quest <laughs> then when you are level 25 talk to joseph joestar and then go up on this hill now you want a good stand for this boss now this is dio um that is actual dio's the world don't worry don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. He cannot roll a Loa. He doesn't know anything about the stand. So all you have to do is take on him. And then, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll do that. And then you just do that and then run away. And then uh, with me, I spam T. If you were wondering how to do that much damage, get you out of the world. And, uh, yeah. that's, that's all you have to do. So then, do that until you are level 50. Then when you're level 50, talk to Rowan Kishibe. Nope. I keep, ugh, wait. I, I don't, you guys were, this isn't very good to tell you. It is, talk to this dude uh, when you level 40, I think. Yes, 40. Then click OK, and then go kill Angela, right? You just want to go and kill Angela. Easiest boss in the game, I think. Okay, yeah. Then just keep punching him, like that. Dead. Then go talk to uh, Jerzyk again. Done. Then there you go, 1000 XP, too easy to get. And then when you level 50, do this quest, then click OK. Then you have to kill Nikitaka two times. This task guy is getting in the way. All right, he's good. Now, let's, let's do it again, OK? And then we'll move on to the next quest here. And I think this time I'll get right. right. So I'm just demonstrating what, what you do. That's why. See? There you go. Now come all the way over here. Back to stand storage. Where I was. And you'll see I have cooldowns, but. Um, do not talk to this dude. Do not do that until you level 75. No, no, no. You can if you want. It'll take a while. <laughs> so I recommend... Oh. 
Do you look up down the ground? Okay, go. Uh, go over to Dio. Now this is a good deal. Do the Mikitaka quest until you level 60. Talk to Dio. Then click yes. Then all you have to do is kill Jedio once. Now, lucky enough, Jedio is almost dead because someone released him. Da. Alright. Then go talk to Dio again. Then, um, there you go. Here's your quest. Now do that. Actually, it's a lot. I did not think I would give that much. And then go talk to this guy over here. Um, then click OK. And then calculating is a little bit harder to. Hey, come back. I couldn't get my full hits in them. So, another thing I recommend, if you have Shadow the World, time stop and then spam T. Um, and then get some hits in there if you want to. And, Kakawin is dead. Then talk to this guy again. And then watch my XP, it'll go behind, yeah, like that. So I'm almost level 121. Nothing too crazy. But then what you want to do here is on Juno Giovanna, I'm going to use a different stand. For this one, you'll want weather report. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit. Weather report is bad. Okay? Now, um, the only reason is that there's only two abilities that are good. Like, and one of them is so I want a ability on the thing is that's actually decent. So let's go to weather report, right? Now this is a AOE. If you didn't know what AOE stands for, area effect, area of effect. So what it stands for? Now come out here, and then that's one of the abilities I meant to uh, whatever it's called, stand jump. Um. This tusk guy is being annoying. I just want to play, but all right. So level what? Level one one one. I know it's a weird number, but then you can max out weather report at uh, level one one one. Oh, just any GST stand, and I still don't know what it means yet. But I have a guess, which is good skill tree. I'm I'm just. If I'm wrong, correct me, okay? <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. That's what I think it stands for. Alright. Alright. Now you. I can't kill this dude. How am I trying to get him out? Alright. Here we go. Uh, this is a perfect opportunity. So I'm going to click on here. Okay. Now I'm going to press H, okay? Watch this. Ooh. And then the Tusk guy may die um, doing this. And if he does, I'll be really happy because I'm really happy. And like I said, that is Tusk Act 4. See? They're dead. Now you're probably like, this stand is super overpowered. No. No. Don't go on the wrong side, guys, please. It's... This ability, though, is pretty good. Not that one. What is it? Is it this one? No. No, no, no. It's this one. Now, this one allows you to glide wherever you want. Now, it won't... It'll, it has to, like, get a little time. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to just watch this tusk. The tusk is really good, like... I don't think you guys understand this video. Really good. Ooh. I'm not going to go near that task. But yeah, that is weather report and what I can do. Um, other stands. Cars. 
and made in heaven. I'll show you both of them. <laughs> now do that other uh, one back there until you're level 500. Which, who wants to even be level 500? I wouldn't. Well, I would, but it takes a long time. About a you probably. <laughs> nah. No. But here is made in heaven. Don't want to tell you how I got this. You guys are going to be in pain. Fine, I'll do it. You know I got Shadow the Royal Daemon, right? Got another the Royal Daemon and the useless. So I traded for a Maiden Heaven. Because I was desperate for one. Now, this is actually all you to stand. So if I go over here. See, I, I ran into these guys, so... Shadow of the World, right, has this ability where you can key people, which is, you know, the nice spell. Now, if I get them all, this does way more damage than uh, Shadow of the World. Now, the reason why I'm not doing so great is because I haven't maxed it out yet. Now, Maiden Heaven is so easy to max out. Another thing is it's barrage, which is pretty weak. I don't know. It's a five second barrage. See? Pretty good. I don't know. All right. Then, this stand is broken a little bit. Um, if I go over to. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to quite like that. Right. So if I go kill <coughs> Cockroach real quick. I'm going to press Z on him, right? Now look. Use Emerald Splash. But can't attack me. <laughs> so, easy free kill, basically, guys. So, you know. It's, it's like really good. Um, of a stand. It's one of the uh, top tier stands. It's not SS even, like, it should be. I don't know why it's not, but the admins need to fix because, you know, <clears throat> kind of annoys me. Um, what other SS did I get? I'm, I'm trying to think of an SS that I got, like, big days ago. Ah, Silver Chariot over Life Cream. I traded that for Star Platinum over. I mean, not over. Um, Star Platinum over 11. And then I traded that for Premier. And then I traded that for Weather Report. Now, do, you, do you know how I got Silver Chariot over Life Cream? For free. So basically, I got a free Weather Report. Um, so, yeah. I do a like a little let's play on this with my other account. If you guys want to see that, which is the the real banana or whatever. Um, if you guys want to see that, please comment. Like I said, I was going to show you um, codes. So let's go get codes out. Boop a boop. Um, you guys should figure out what all the items do. Dio Diary gives you an over heaven. Um, Rick Romero gives you a Rick Room. Ultimate Diary gives you the world over, over heaven. Things like that, okay? Figure it out on your own. Well, now let's do some dungeon runs with our cars. So, go on to stand. It's another good skill tree. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it wrong. I really don't want to, but, you know. Alright, so, no. Oh, yeah, I'm with uh, Made in Heaven. It is broken, because it's supposed to <coughs> take off the stand for, like, four to five seconds. No. It deactivates the stand. In f it really annoys me. Not really, because I like it. But if someone else says it to me, oh, I'm getting annoyed. Now look at that stand jump. Look at that cool thing. I just used it again. 
Well, let's see if we get good recording luck. So, uh, there is an item in this dungeon, I think? No. This dungeon over here. Yeah. Now that's Dio up though, so don't oh, Dio. Yeah. He's pretty easy if you have Coast. Coast is the NPC Slayer. 100%! Do not go for Maiden Heaven. Um, that's the player kill. Or could be used on NPCs only with stands. Here's that glitch stuff. Um, but they're probably going to fix, so I wouldn't recommend going for Maiden Heaven. The, the only way I got Maiden Heaven was like I said, trade in the double gold diamond for it. Which is not a good trade, and do not do it. If you're the guy with Maiden Heaven, do not do it. Bad trade. But if someone says trading Made in Heaven for the world, uh, Damon, do it, 100%. Now look, look how easy I just killed Diavolo, Diavolo, I think that's how it's said. Aw, Storm Mask, that we're gonna get Requiem Arrow. See, that's my bad luck. My bad, bad luck. We could try going into the level 8 again. That uh, is a wait. Three items. Not bad. I will take take. Alright. Yes, this is this is the one. So when you level 80, you can do this dungeon. When you level 100, you can do the other dungeon. It's as simple as that. Figure it out on your own. I don't want to make all your video on it. I do want to make a let's play though. That 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 sounds fun. Since I know everything about the game. And that actually might be my main if I get something like better. Like a stand that's better. Alright, what do I get? Three unusual arrows, let's go. Um. Yeah, I think that's it for me to tell you. If you want to read all this, you can. Um. That's all I want to tell you guys about for for and video. So yeah, pool meal is zero point two five percent. Like <laughs> you know, it's pretty easy to get it. If you want to see more dungeon crawler content, please comment. And I'll be doing a video. Like today of Dungeon Quest. I mean, Lumber Quest. Trying to get to level 250. The grind to level 250. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.